What's going on guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, which today brings you the rivalry we've all been waiting to see for the past month or so. Razer Tachyon versus the Rimac Concept 2. Now, um, before I get into this, I got a little news on Rimac. They have officially announced that they will be changing the name of the Concept 2. And they've, they, they gave us sort of a fan basis on Instagram what they want us to name it. Um, I made a little joke about it, perfect, um, but perfect. essentially what... No, we're back with the Razer Tachyon. This is my Razer Tachyon. It is the uh, very first uh, all-electric hypercar coming out of America, so presumably it will be hamster-proof. What I mean by it's hamster-proof, I got a video here showing you of what uh, not a hamster-proof car is. I know you know, that's 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 what ham that's what that that's what a non hamster proof car looks like. Um, but anyways, we are doing the Razer versus the Rimac. If you guys like this paint job that I'm using right now, go download it on my Creative Hub, and um, you guys will have yourselves a red Razer Tachyon called the Velosa Razer. I know it's a pretty cool name. Uh, without further ado, Wait, is it the only thing let me talk to you. On the car red? I remember you like going on for an hour about how hard it was to get what you wanted, but all you were doing is just making it red. It was an incredibly complicated thing to do because, like, the, the, I had to line up everything exactly right. <laughs> I made a red razor as well as a green and orange and blue and all that. Um, so you guys can, you know, and have a, a razor tacky on in style or whatever. Uh, but anyways, let me talk to you through with what we are doing today. So. Gabe and I, we've, uh, we've had this little debate, you see. We wanted to see when the Razer first came out to Forza Horizon 4. We wanted to see exactly what it's good at. And, you know, we were going to have it originally <laughs> go up against... Very funny. We were originally going to have it go against the Volkswagen IDR and the Rimac, but it, the, the Razer is just sort of a blend between the two. It can handle pretty good at some things, and but it's are, insanely and, and fast. know what's going to happen if we use the IDR on the circuit. It's just going to blow these two out of the water. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, there's no way that either the Rimac or the Razer will win in a circuit race. The, 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 the IDR just has them both pinned there. Um, but it's, I figured since, you know, the, it's... The Razor is sort of more related to the Rimac in terms of horsepower and speed and turning, kind of. Uh, I figured it might just be a, a duel of uh, electric titans, so we're just going to have the American hypercar, electric hypercar, versus the uh, Croatian hamster killer. I like the fact that it's listed as a hypercar. <clears throat> mm, here we go. Alright, yep, the Rimac definitely ah. has the... What in the hell? Can't turn. You're drifting a Rimac! Oh, come on. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, no. Stop drifting. Oh my god. Hey! What? what are you doing? Oh my god. No! No! Ow! Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. You know those little turn like at the edge of the corner? Yes! Yeah, I keep running into those because the like, car won't turn with me going fast. Oh my god. Okay, well, interesting. So the Razor is kind of faster. Well, not fast. Well, it did have a faster lap time, but that's just because Gabe was get, just getting used to the Rimac. Now, what I want to test out now is I'm gonna put on my own tune. Drift zone score? Um, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm rewinding that. that AI car. Jesus, without drift suspension. Oh my god. You need drift suspension right now? I, I may need drift suspension for this. Okay. All right, well, after careful determination, we have decided that the Razor is kind of better in a uh, race circuit while the Rimac is better in a drift zone. But now it is time to see just how fast both of these cars go around the Corona Drome. And that, of course, means handing them over to our tame racing driver. Some say that when he first came into power, he was the first man to invent the Lamborghini toilet. 
and that some other person has said that he has the sexual energy of a blobfish. All we know is, he's called the bid! And there he goes, off to a blinding start into the very first corner. A very wide drift turn there, but he is hauling now. I expect big, big turning uh, disciplines out of this. Okay, right, here he comes up over the railway into the first uh, horseshoe here. Will he go into the uh, third dimension? No, I don't think he will. Uh, but it looks like he's having a little bit of a drift adventure here as he comes up over the... Okay, he's not handling this very well at all. Uh, but here he comes into uh, Chicago now. Uh, he's not doing it very well here. Uh, can he power through it? Yes, he will with a big slide there. Here he comes back over onto the back alley. He is going very fast here. I'm not catching... I'm not keeping up with him. A uh, bit of oversteer. And across the line. All right, here he is now in the Razor. Bid, take it away. All right, here he goes now. Can't stop the timer. All right, here he comes now. He's looking much better now. Uh, doesn't look like he's having much too fun with the Razor either, but we'll see what happens next as he comes into Cthulhu now. Uh, now he, he's jumping over the railway as he enters the first end of the horseshoe. Will he enter the third dimension? I don't think he will. Okay, right. He's coming up into the next turn here as he ent enters out of the horseshoe onto the railway again. He's got a brake hard here as he enters Chicago now. Okay, bit of a drift through there, keeping it styly as he enters the back alley. Uh, the razor or the, the, the drone is actually keeping up with the razor a bit here. Uh, the razor is flying down the back alley as he bit, has a bit over steer and across the line. Okay, so after careful determination, um, I have the times here. Uh, we're, I'm gonna name off the Rimac time first since that was that went first. Uh, the Rimac did that in 55.7. The Razor did that in 51.5. That is almost as fast as the Volkswagen IDR, which kind of proves my theory since like the Razor is sort of a blend between the uh, Rimac and the Volkswagen IDR in terms of speed and horsepower. Uh, so yeah, there you have that. Uh, let's just look back on what these cars won. So the Razor won the circuit race. The Rimac lost that badly. Rimac did the um, drift zone. That kind of won that. Razor, that won the Corona Drome. And in terms of if we were going to do a freeway run, um, I think it's kind of obvious which car that would which uh car that would go to um definitely the rimac since you know it's it, it's it's supremely faster they're kind of even in both in both ways the rim the razor is kind of more track based the rimac's more speed based so we're left with a tiebreaker scenario here which car would we rather have would you rather have the keys well steering wheel i should say to a razor tachyon or the keys to a rimac concept 2 Okay, he'd have, he has a rim neck. Um, me, personally, I take the Razor. So, again, there's it's a tie. And on that bombshell, everyone, thank you very much for watching our Razor Tachyon versus uh, Rimac Concept 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, now, I should say that the next video that we do is going to be something very interesting. There is a new Porsche 356 uh, being added to the game. It's kind of a, an annoyance to everybody since we have so many of them. Um, but this one's a little bit different, so what Gabe and I are going to be doing is testing out to see which current 356 that's already in the game is the best. So we're going to test out the other four that are in the game, and then we're going to move on to other cars that have the same engine as the 356, which is, you know, the VW Beetle engine. We're going to move on to that, but in the meantime, guys, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Follow us on all of our social medias. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more, guys. Peace out.